whenever a river comes to the ocean, it's a uh, remarkable experience and a remarkable place. The uh, Chatalaya is the direction, is the route the uh, Mississippi's trying to take to get to the Gulf of Mexico. Paddlers coming long distance down the Mississippi can stay on the main channel, but it has been incredibly altered so that you cannot experience a, a true natural delta. But the places that um, are the most beautiful and wild, we find them in abundance on the Chapalaya. Every morning I wake up and keep thinking, wonder what we're going to see today. Um, yesterday, all the, the critters, I call them, I mean, we had gators and raccoons and turtles and frogs and snakes, hawks, eagles, herons. I mean, it just goes on. I, that's what I'm here for. I'm definitely here to see that wildlife. It's a landscape that's unparalleled anywhere uh, on the earth. It is the only place I know about on the lower Mississippi where you can paddle uh, for days on end through a watery wilderness. hard to really tell people, you know, about a trip like this, I think, because um, it's just, it's such a personal deal. You know, getting to the Gulf, that was an accomplishment, and uh, I think I can share that with people, you know, yeah, we paddled to the Gulf. Maybe that's what I really wanted, is just get away into the woods camp and have some social interaction with other people that like to do that. I'm pretty fast paced at home, on the computer, on the phone, going to the bank, going to make sure my mom's okay, this, that, this, that. So it's been, I kind of like that slow pace. It's great. We're lucky.
Can you still find wilderness in a place that's inhabited by people? Well, that's a question that uh, only you can answer. You might have to go to the uh, top of Mount Everest to find your wilderness, but we're finding it and uh, keep finding it over and over again on the lower Mississippi. My mind was wandering like a 